Visit count should go up when entering the map of a star system, not just upon approach. So, I've had a thought. I had a thought where um, you can... Tell an actor that they are now part of of that that you, you can yoke a group the at you can yoke the star system group to the actor and unyoke it and so that is going to be how we go about this and that's an extension on an actor. So here's an extension method. Here's an actor extension. So one of the things here. So sub set star system actor as I actor. Uh, star system group as I group. One of the things that we absolutely do is say that actor dot yoked group star system or uh, yoke types star system equals star system group. But, so the thing here is, okay, so we're going we're gonna to do some nothing. We're going we're gonna to put a test for this extension method. Are we? No, we are not. We are not because this is a friend. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, this stuff is nope. Yeah, this stuff is invisible to to tests. Oh, hold on. When I when I enter, no, no, it's really like that. Okay, I'm gonna yoke the group. So here, whenever I have an interaction, my interaction, enter interior. Uh, 
So this thing actor dot set star system star system group. Take that and that goes back over here. But when I leave, right, when I, when I leave, uh, what's it, where is it called, what's it called? Leave star system, what does leave star system do? Transport interaction, so leave star system. Let's take a look at you. Path and interaction type model. What in the world is this thing? Other end is blocked. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Let's check it out. Let's figure this out. So now we go here, leave the stuff. Okay, then that's not what happened. That isn't what happened. Oh, no, not to transport to location. No, so that's not it. Interaction type. Whenever I'm going to leave the star system, Oh, if it is a planet, then I do that. Transports to actor. That's the one. Oh, if we actually go to other actor. Okay, so I have an other actor. So if the other actor is a star system. Then, then actor dot set star system, nothing. So, okay, so I absolutely want to do this. So system group is nothing. So let's 
So is there a change? Equals actor dot yoked group yoked types. Again, okay. old star system equals actor yoked group yoked types star system. Okay. If old star system is nothing, and also star system group is not nothing. So if we're if it starts at nothing and we're setting it to something that is not nothing. Or else old star system dot ID is not equal to star system group dot ID. Go here, I approach. So this I have set the star system. Leaving the star system. Oh, object reference not set to an instance of an object. Ah, oh, this is not correct. So, this is not nothing. And also, that that is nothing, and the new one is not nothing. Or else, not or else. Okay, so that is absolutely certain. Ah, okay, so first off, the star system group okay, so I'm doing this wrong. Much better. So I have to be setting the star system group because that's the thing that I want to do. So that has to not be nothing. And the old star system has to be nothing or else the ID has to have changed. Logic. Approach. Yes, we're fine. Okay, and we're fine. Okay, my physics is one. So now, okay, so changed how star system visit count works to prep for other use cases.
All right. So when I do that wormhole initialize, no, that's a step interaction. Okay. So in here. So what happens when I do this? Oh, okay. So then go here to pre presentation states in play interaction. Choice. world is the whole stargate thing how does stargating work go to the neutral state right reaction stargate is active okay so in stargate new state stargate okay so we enter the stargate there Aha, uh -huh. back to go to other actor. Oof, so oh, there's actor. Interesting. So where did the time? Looks like this is a really this may be a really good spot to put this. Just go to other actor here. Hold on. Okay, yep. Oh, good cheap viewers. I need cheap viewers. What if I put a post action that also involves the other actor? I think maybe that's what I do. Oh, huh, that's tough. They wait because we don't because it's still attached to no we really don't
right. Find all the references for this. There's that, and there's this. Uh, okay. Put that there as well. Okay, so this is right, this right here, which I can move. I can take this, continue, and it goes here. If not success, then say that and clear the interactor. I always want to clear the interactor. Oh, we're doing false. So this is where we're going to set that. So if not success, then that's true. All right. Okay, so it's our visit count is one approach, please. And that's two, okay. But so now I gotta go find a Stargate. Hello, Dota. No wormholes. There's, there are stargates. So approach. No stargate here. Stargate, enter the Stargate, doesn't matter which one. Okay, so then the Stargate is going here. I'm going to pin this. So other actor, what do we have about other actor? Other actor descriptor. What have we about this? Is it, is, ah, so if it's, it's going to be another Stargate. Right, and then other actor. Okay, so I don't want that, but I do want other actor entity data. Yoked groups. What is this? That's the faction. Okay, 
So one of the things I'm going to want to do is assign a yoked. That's that's it. That's it. I want to yoke the star system to the stargate. And then um vector yoked group for yoke types star system equals other actor yoked group yoke types star system perfect but in order to do that when i'm initializing my stargate is my initialize wait I might I might want to do this for the stations yes okay so that's the so we take the planet. The planet is yoked group, so I can get to this planet here. That's a pipe. So wait, we got planet. Oh, we have a star system group. Yes, yes, so good. Actor yoked group for yoke types star system equals star system group. Perfect. Yes. And then actually. Uh, where's my where's my actor for uh, a wormhole teleporters to the wormhole okay nope and it's when I'm in the, okay so the wormhole is gonna be the last the last thing here So let's go find a wormhole. There's one wormhole in here. There it is. So the other actor yoked group is Okay, so was successful. We're going to change Oh <clears throat> next I just need to do a Okay, great. Let's find all the references here because the way that I want to do it this is this called set star system. Our Stargate model. It's that is that. 
Oh, wait, where's my other go to other actor? Find all the references. Targets one. Okay. Not here. Nope, not there either. Okay, let's go. Alright, so I must be missing one. Oh, there it is, right here on the edge. There it is. Got those just um eleven. Gold star system is some group and we do that and we say add to that and there we go. So if you already have a visit count, yeah, but Zutanak, I've already visited. Okay, great. So good. So then, okay. Stargates change yield star system correctly. As far as I can tell, anyway. Now the wormhole one. we're going to do with the wormhole thing is that um, and that has to do with my initializer the initializer when I The star system. We're going to go dim star system group equals that. I need this is the destination location actor. Then wormhole actor equals this thing. And I want to do wormhole actor yoke. I want to yoke the group for yoke type star system equals star system group. So I wanted to do that. Now, where's interaction type enter wormhole?
Mm. Mm hmm. Okay, so now I gotta find a wormhole and be able to differentiate. So, what is this other stuff? Another wormhole. No wormholes. No wormholes. Am I even counting wormholes correctly? I think I am. Okay. <clears throat> the other actor is a wormhole. And in the entity data, I'm not going to have any yoked groups. There are no yoked groups. Okay, so we're going to try this. Else if other actor descriptor is wormhole, then actor set star system, other actor yoked group, yoked type, star system. Okay, does this do what I want? Find out. There's a wormhole. To the wormhole. So the yoked group of that is nothing. So I've now left there. But now I should be able to enter here. Okay. Great. So now when I leave, I go back. There should be two visits. Yes. All right, I have done it. It has been accomplished. So bug fixed. That's cool. I want to ship it. Uh, wormhole updates star system visit counts correctly. And I need more copy. So I'll be back. Do it, 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 do it,
ship it that's what I'm gonna do what we're doing we're doing it Right on. So that shipped. Now we're on to plant vicinity. So I need plant type faction satellite shipyard training by. Uh, probably also want a star system that you're in. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Okay, let's look. The CAD delivery thing. All right. We want to implement a new system to handle fair calculation driver assignments and ride tracking to approve efficiency and customer satisfaction. Need to maintain it can be extended with new features in the future. Development. Okay. Yeah, that yeah. Just keep telling you, like that 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 hasn't been fixed. <clears throat> Call to get cab, no other methods available. Explain what an MVP is to this. Okay. You don't know. Okay. No. Do not use abbreviations because you don't know that this isn't the very first time a person is is doing something. They don't know what an MVP is. Okay. Got a new cab driver. Okay. Customer request rides. Ride request. See, you, you again, you're solutioning it. You have you have created a dispatcher. You have created this is no. You have already given them a design. You are remote control programming them. We're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna take a detour we're gonna take a detour all right we're gonna take a detour nah, 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 nah. okay new we're gonna do a Google drawing okay we're gonna have the actors in your kata all right Actor number one is the customer. Okay. Okay. You've got drivers. Okay. 
the whole point of your system is oh uh the other parts of the they certainly have they, they want to get from uh, why okay now there's i need a driver to take me from place to place so here is i'll have a text box here Actually, we'll even put it a little more domain specific. Passenger, right? <clears throat> As a passenger, no, 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 it's okay. Passenger, z. Fine. As a passenger, I need to go from one place to another. That is what they are looking to get. Okay. So. <clears throat> That's what I want. So, I'm going to, therefore, I'm going to use a communication method at my disposal to connect with a service, with, with some sort of service that will allow me to solve my problem and that solution will probably involve providing a transportation or a, a vehicle that takes me from place to place. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm not even saying I'm going to call somebody. I might use an app. I am going to going to connect. That is the customer need. Yep. So there's no dispatcher anywhere in this. There's no dispatcher. Dispatcher is an implementation detail. So it's, uh, we'll call that a. So now we, we do have, so we know we have a driver at some point. Transportation service. So we have emerged that I'm going to contact them. Book. Book. Okay. And insert. So, step one. Contact the transportation service. Um. The transportation service coordinates right. uh, so we also have another we also do have another actor. We have the vehicle. So as a vehicle. Step one, you're you're going to have a communication relationship between the passenger and the transportation service. Because you're looking to get a relationship between the passenger and the vehicle. And actually we're gonna put a couple of other important things in here. Starting location. So to start with, I 
has a relationship, so not exactly an actor. Doesn't really do a whole lot of acting. But the passenger is related to the starting location because that's where they are. You see, you're 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 getting ahead of stuff. You're getting ahead of stuff. Passenger is related to the starting location because that's where the passenger is. Passenger starts a communicates with a transportation service. You're going you're going too far here. Transportation service coordinates a vehicle. We don't even have a driver. Actually, I'm not going to bother. Uh, finish our end location. Uh, final location. And actually, the passenger has a relationship with the final location because that's where he wishes to go. So the passenger wants to go here. Transportation service. Hi, transportation service. I'd like a vehicle. Transportation service coordinates a vehicle. To um, go to the starting location and pick up the passenger. Okay. So, vehicle. Here's vehicle. It's going to have a relationship to the starting location. Now, this, this is just a little diagram talking about what the active... Okay, so, and at that point, up and actually, you have, in addition... There is trans between transportation service and vehicle. Okay, vehicle says, vehicle says, transportation service in some method says, hey, give me send a vehicle to here. So vehicle goes to here. Now, uh, passenger will have We'll, we'll now have a relationship to the vehicle. Passenger going to enter the vehicle. And at this point, the, it's, the relationship between the passenger and vehicle becomes historical. Uh, give me a thing here. So this is historical. This is no longer Actually, I'm assuming that this is now we will say it's red When the relationship is not active and this is now also red historical Okay, passenger still has a relationship to a final destination but we've now left this Yes, so we're no longer at the starting location. So our, our, our thing is historical. We still have a relationship because we are en route, but now the vehicle has a relationship to the starting, to the final location in that it is attempting to get there. Okay. Once we have arrived there, passenger gets out. Uh, the yep. the passenger is still is now actively at the final destination. The vehicle departs the final destination, and the passenger is now in its proper state. Now, this is all from the point of view of the passenger, and that's it. Passenger goes through these. Through these relationships to these other things. Now, the transportation service has a 
when it relates to the passenger, it <clears throat> pick up the passenger, uh, the vehicle uh, travels to the final location, whereupon the passenger departs or disembarks the vehicle and the vehicle leaves. Okay, so that but that's the story of the passenger. Transportation service suddenly has a relationship and so it There, there's a different something here. There is a um, a workflow that's going on here because this is like okay, those those are the physical things moving. So there is a workflow, all right. And the workflow, but not but it, but the transportation is again. But see. no, it is for the. Uh, transaction between the the pass and the transportation service and the passenger so now there is a bit of a states diagram okay so this is an initial contact this is what happens when when this thing takes place when this happens, there's an initial contact. And then that state is, that state goes, assuming that we're going to go here and say, all right, well, we need to Assign vehicle. Okay, so the initial contact. Now this is associated with the with this relationship here. Is this is happens during this? Assign the vehicle is what happens when it says, "Hey, go do this." All right. Goes to assign vehicle. And we will do another one, which is this is pick up fare. Pick up. Deliver. And so that is our, that is a different way of looking at it. And then each one of these would be a snapshot of what this relationship looks like. Deliver. And then pretty much that's, that's the end state. We're, we're done. We're done with the loop passengers in their proper states. Really these, these things. But so right now, the only the only thing from the the only thing that the only the only entity benefiting is the passenger. Transportation service is like, well, uh, I need to not get this. But so the transportation service, and so initial contact. contact uh, there's not really anything in the in the form of um, so 
During the initial contact, there's not really any cost to um, so assigning a vehicle. There's whatever cost of assigning the vehicle. There's the cost of the vehicle going to pick up the passenger. There's a cost of um, incurred delivering. So, initial contact, is not, there's not really benefits. So, sign vehicle, the cost to the transportation service. Picking up, there is a cost to the transaction service. There is a deliver cost to transportation service. Now, one of the things that the transportation wants to do is say, okay, we've incurred some cost. You have gotten a benefit. Now we want to recoup our costs. At some point, we want to recoup cost. And because we have benefited you. You must now benefit us. Right, but but that's what's going to, this, this is your general flow. Now, you may, uh, your recoup cost may be, uh, you know, I agree upon how much that's going to be. You might do that here. You might go, this is how much it costs, give it to me. Because that's how cab, cab companies typically work, is you start the meter and do whatever. So, initial contact, all the way to recoup costs, and now passenger has benefited, and the transportation service has benefited, and this right here is your transaction. So, now, from here, you can write behavior-driven uh, development type things. So, we're going to go back to here. So, there's... I don't even have a concept of cab driver in my diagram. I don't even have one. So this one, I kind of do. It's not just requesting a ride. So, but, so there's yeah, assigning a vehicle. The, underneath here, there's a concept. There is likely a concept of a dispatcher. Under here, there is likely a thing of payment processor. But if you want to, if you want to have a person, if you want to say what you need your system to do, not how your system should do it, dispatcher is a how. Now this is, you can describe to anybody, they're, gonna, they're going to contact us, say, I want a vehicle from point A to point B, I'm going to we're going to assign them a vehicle to take them from point A to point B, that vehicle is going to go to point A, get them, take them to point B, deliver them and then we are going then we are going to recoup our costs recoup our costs and well and probably a little profit and that's where you go but yeah but see you're thinking see you you're thinking in terms of dispatchers and drivers and stuff You have to let the, the people go, oh, okay. Now, you can, you can completely chew that for them and, and give them what you've gotten there. Yeah. So that's that's the thing is like okay because this this is a fairly well understood process of I need to get from one place to another and I don't have a means to provide that 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 is a fairly fairly easy to understand thing the things that solve it Now here's the thing, you hand this problem to most people and they're going to do, they're going to have a dispatcher and they're going to have that. 
Uh, but on occasion, you're gonna get you're gonna get a person who's like, "Well, do we really need that?" And then, yeah, behind vehicle, you'll wind up with driver. Or do, but do you really care about drivers? This system doesn't care about drivers. The, the doing this. All right, but the thing is, is you want to have this. This is how you design. I don't, I, and I don't know if, if it's really just a, here's a particular aspect, then you can be very proscript, proscriptive. But <clears throat> you, you go and present this to various people. Roman comes to mind. He's this, this is his perspective. It's, I'm, he's looking at it from the point of view of the customer and acknowledges these other things that, that would be, um, but this is the perspective, All right? No, you haven't then you could, you can do that. It depends on your goal. If your kata is go build this exact thing, but you've taken the creative work uh, out of it. Uh, is you're supposed to it's supposed to be a creative endeavor to do this and you're robbing them of it so it's what are you trying what sort of kata are you doing okay now we're going now we're going to get back to doing doing things uh, what was i at okay We have all these things. Yeah. So that's how <clears throat> see and you and you run the thing and people will probably settle on here's a dispatcher. But so it's the So here's why you do this. Um if you tell them exactly how to do it, then they've gone through the exercise of doing it, but they haven't learned a thing and they don't feel like they own anything. If you go, here's the problem I'm trying to solve, then they go, well, one of the ways we could solve it is this, and then they get the reinforcement of, uh, the reinforcement of other people, and they begin to feel like they own it, and that, that sense of ownership, it's not real ownership, it's not real ownership. The sense of ownership helps uh, motivate making the something. If you just go, build me a dispatcher system, I've built a bunch of dispatching systems. That's boring. I don't want to do it. I want I want to be engaged in this this pro it's but it's present a problem. And really the the little the little sequence diagrams is what the UX people do. Yes. Ultimately they're gonna come to there's a dispatcher, there's a driver, there's there's a payment processor. Don't start, don't lead with that. And that's, it's not, it's not an easy thing to do. Cause like, uh, cause when I run, when I run katas, there's very much the, um, you can do the, here is a puzzle to solve. Um, that, uh, but that's, but yeah. And now the one, the one that I really like now is there are, you have, you have numerals, you have a number, you have an integer. Now make it in words. All right, so I need planet fact types and factions and whatever. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, anything to push? Where is okay, great. Blam, close all the tabs. So, when I am just 
bribing. A planet vicinity. Here it is. Well, no, see, and here's here's the thing. So, okay, I do once a month. I do my do the ever the Evercraft Kata with the captain uh, because because it's fun because we both do role playing game type things. Uh, but it has it is a to be continued. And every month we continue it further. And the best part of it is that each month we go, well, why did we do it that way in the past? So it becomes a kata not just about solving a problem. It becomes a, becomes a kata about how do you progress through making something that does something and changing it over time. Because that is really what we do we don't solve new problems and also sometimes you will in, in production sometimes you will encounter a new problem based on the decisions you made with the last problem you saw you solved But it is it is a thing where, um, yeah, things are well. Ultimately, a kata is in run by a group isn't about the 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 problem is there is a problem there. That's not why you're doing the kata. Because the kata is about um, practicing community. Kata in a group, anyway. You can do a kata by yourself, and if you're doing that, uh, then you're practicing problem solving. And I wouldn't do too much of that because that's not how most of life works. A kata in a group is about communication. It is about communicating with others. How to, how to communicate about the problem, uh, how to and how to understand the problem, and to learn from other people how to better communicate by practicing communication. What we do is not to tell computers to do things. That is not what we do. What we do is we communicate. Dot. So I have to have a planet type. So I don't know what this stuff is. What is in actor? Actor. Properties. That's interesting. Okay, I'm just pulling up this be seven. Key data. Covered in metadata. Uh, 
entity type, that's the name, the statistic. Don't want constant. What do I, what is it I want? I want, I have a sub, I need, I want subtype here. So the planet type, I want to have whatever the subtype is. Oh wait, the cavernous planet vicinity. I have a descriptor. Yeah, let's take a look at the actor dot descriptor. It is planet vicinity. And I have a subtype. Okay. So I need the subtype equals actor descriptor subtype. So planet types. Oh, that's going to be Do I have a name? I don't even know what I have. Call planet type. I don't think I have a description of what this is called. All right, well, let's take a look. Okay. Planet type barren. Neat. Yeah, planet type I've got. Gotcha. So the actor, does he have any yoked groups? His planet vicinity in the star system doesn't have want defaction from it. We are going to pin this here. All right. So it's going to be the faction. So it's actor, yoked group, yoke types, faction, dot, empty, name. So that's going to work, maybe. No, because when we, when we factionize the galley thing, so that's going to blow up, right? There. That's not going to work. We go here and it blows up because like, you nope, we don't, we don't have this yoked group. All right. So what we're going to do is when we are factionizing the galaxy, Oh. Which 
Wait a second, you are... Oh, we add the parent. Uh, oh. Oh? Uh huh. <coughs> You'll type planet vicinity. Parent uh, dot parents single function x x dot group. And we type equals group type group types faction. Will this get it? Okay, that's gross, but will it get us there? Okay, so the faction is the democratic meritocracy. Of course it is. Okay, so we managed to get that. How many satellites are there? Do I have satellite count? I might have a satellite. I may. Let's try this again. Okay, so actor. Entity data, we have statistics. We don't have a satellite count. Planet vicinity. Well, wait a second. In theory, it has it here. So Oh, it's on on the group. So satellites. Not statistics. Statistic types. Dot satellite count. Try this. All right. Cancel. So let's go here, and the result says how many satellites we got. Satellites three. Got it. Okay. So correctly shows how many satellites there are. So good. We have the information. And so this is the planet type desert and the of the Invincible Republic, and there are three satellites. So we will approach next. Uh, so that's the number of satellites. The shipyard, Stargate. So which, okay, so shipyard, trading post, and Stargate. Uh, satellites. Action and planet type.
the um, the next one, which is the shipyard. Okay, so when I'm initializing shipyards, I do need to okay. I also need the planet vicinity one. So then planet vicinity group equals this one. Planet, planet vicinity group. Planet vicinity group. Of that statistic type. So now I can do exactly the same thing. Okay, we need planet vicinity group. Uh, dim planet vicinity group equals this thing. So Stargates, Shipyards, and Trading Post. Shipyards and Trading Post. Stargate count. Shipyard count. Count. Let's go check it out. Approach, find a planet. Up. Nope. Run the start. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, ha ha. So one of the things we're gonna to need to do is see where the start date counts are initialized to zero. So the galaxy initialization step, and then I want to be in the initialization step for the star system, when I create planet vicinities, and we're going to say that okay, this is a group, we'll call you planet vicinity group. And planet Vicinity group dot uh, statistic statistics and statistic types shipyard count equals zero. I'll we'll call you trading post count, stargate count, star doc count, stargate count. Try it again. Satellites one, Stargates one, Shipyards zero, Trading Post zero. But one thing we do need. Hey, Captain. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Then star system group plus planet vicinity vicinity group dot parents where our single function x x dot entity type 
is root types star system. Result add use black star system star system group dot empty name. There we go. Go in here. Planet type desert faction of the social is the socialist sultanate. The socialist sultanate. They're big into socialism and they have a sultan. Who knew? Has three satellites, has no stargates, has no shipyards, has a trading post, and belongs to the star system, the Faso. And Gipalusi is the name of it. So that is exactly the, the type of information that you would want to know. He is the Sultan of Socialism. The Socialist Sultan. Ah, there are some. I, I like, I enjoy the randomness and the ridiculousness. Oh. All right. And so. Okay, put that there. Okay, put that there. That that there. That there. Dunk, dunk, and that's it. Means we're done. Things are green. Okay, so the star vicinity interaction text. Okay. So, planet vicinity text. Got that done? So, I'm taking taking a thing on the on the bingo card for that. Whew. Okay. So in the star vicinity, what sort of stuff do we care about? Well, that's interesting. Definitely want, you know, star type. Uh, well, let's take a look real quick. Because that's the stuff we want to do here. So I go into a star system, and it tells me all of these things. And, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a rough read. But <clears throat> I've got, got the information that I care about. So I'm going to approach there. And I'm going to go to the middle of it. And I want to approach the star vicinity. And so right here, a Kibo ship. It's a star. It's real hot. And so this is not something where... So really, the only thing we care about here is the star type. And we are going to approach it. So now we're here. So we're in the vicinity of the star. And that's all we can do here. So, why do we want to do that? Because at some point we can buy a fuel scoop and we can get refueled from there. Right? So, I think the only thing we really care about is the star vicinity type, right? Counts of things in planet vicinity. So 
in my star system or star vicinity. We have an of here. Bim result equals new uh, list of this. Return result. Result add fuse black. So we're going to have star type. And I believe this to be actor dot descriptor dot subtype. We go to the star system, star types descriptor of that dot star type name. I believe this is all the information that we care about. Don't type the right star. <laughs> Did you see the name? Did you see the name of the star? That's right. The star is called Oh Shit. <laughs> Random generation. Total W there. That's totally W. Mmm. <laughs> I, I, I don't have words. We're going to approach Oh Shit. The Oh Shit vicinity. Here we are. <laughs> then this is perfect. Oh shit, it's a star. It's real hot. Sure is. Sure is. See, you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> ah. You know what? I'm putting this on my bingo card. A star named Oh Shit. Uh, that delighted me. It delighted me. I'm I was surprised. Like my game brings me joy. Okay, so that's all I care about in the star vicinity. It's probably also all I care about in a um so that's it. We only we only care about that. So that's great. So that's done. Well, similarly, hey, let's let's get some the star inter in interacian or interacetan or interacetan because that's how I spelt that. I think this will be pretty much the same thing. Uh, let's get the star actor type descriptor and can we get the star it's real hot to there you go it's that let's go then we're done with those pretty sure Ovana Zosef. Ovana Zosef. A yellow star. Now, so that, so at least it gives me, here's the flavor text. First star and star vicinity. Oh, that's cool.
Okay, so the planet, there's planet interaction, there's planet section interaction. Planet interaction is also a planet section. It's just not that sort of planet set. Okay. So let's, well, let's, you know what? Let's just go through here and say definitely planet type and star system and uh, star gates trading costs um, shipyard. I don't think I need anything else. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one is satellite type planet star system. That's all there's going to be there. Same thing here. Satellite type planet star system. Okay, now we're inter interacting with the planet. We'll have uh, planet type star system. This is a planet interaction. No, it's not the vicinity now. Like these things we don't care about. This is this one's planet. We're gonna make this the planet one, and then the planet section. Okay. So we really just care about the planet type and the star system. Star gate. Oh, also, anywhere on the planet, we care about the faction. Do we care about the faction on the satellite? Not really. The faction. Third gate, we care about the faction. 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 And absolutely what the faction is. <clears throat> well, those are simple enough. Let's see, got, I got, got the 10 minutes. These should be doable right here. If they're not already done, we're going to check. So let's see what happens. Okay, it's already got the faction on there. Ooh. We have it broken. <clears throat> what are you? The shipyard. Wait, I want to just do the. Do I have? Do I have any yoked groups? Star system. You have a faction. What the faction? Then? The shipyard. Faction. That's the faction. That's the faction. Okay, so that's all. That's all done. Fantastic. Did it. Did it. 
we will go through and double check, make sure that that's what we've got. Okay, got, well, we got a trading post, so we can actually go look at a trading post. Stardock has it? Yes. Academics League. The Academics League. The Altruistic Monarchy. Okay, so that one works. Looking for a shipyard. Got three shipyards. Let's let's go. No shipyards here. There's a shipyard. Okay. That belongs to the Academics League. So great. Uh, factions on station flavor text. So oh, good, very, very good. We close all the tabs there and clear that stuff up to dates. So we have some of these things, but that also. So these I should be able to. I've now got it fairly fairly well established that I can get some of that stuff doing, but what's next? What's next? These things. Delete. Things that are done in the backlog don't need to be in the backlog. What does this sh what does it do? Calendar system, interest on debt, count all these things. Uh, it's a very very slow developing game, but that's okay. Because we still, you know, Academics Commonwealth Military Vessel. You know what? I don't have these either. Want combat. We want combat. Do we not want combat? Oh, uh, yeah, I do okay with two hours a day. Actually, if I'd make less progress if I put more hours a day in. But it's a slow burn. What I really need is the is the there's not so much a hook because right now, yep, I can go and I can gather scrap. scrap left there's no more scrap okay <clears throat> do I have a trading post no I do have a trading post okay great so I sell all my scrap 56 jewels <clears throat> now I can start up refill my oxygen and refuel. I don't have that much. But so, that will keep me afloat for a short amount of time. 
just scrapping and refueling and whatever, right? But um, there needs to be something else for the game. It has to, it has to be something else. And I, it's probably combat. It's probably bounty hunting. It might be piracy. It might be other things. But yeah, a month and a half. Two hours a day, month and a half. Uh, so really, <clears throat> 90 hours. This is 90 hours of work. Now, there, there are other times where some of my refactors I'll do, call it, um, Hmm. Would I say another 20? 110. Put it at 110 hours of work. Actually, this isn't bad for 110 hours. This is actually pretty good for 110 hours of work. And fairly robust. And there's there's a lot there's just more that I wish I want it to be fun, so that I can actually say here you go play this game. That that is how Australia works. All right, so in the board, let's let's go find a crotch to raid. And there is one with that. There's one right now. So, all right, we're going to raid the dev dad. This is what we do. And thanks everybody so much for hanging out. And now, get off my lawn.